Hey, it's Des, and today I will be telling you reasons why I am a terrible person. <laughs> this is also an apology video to everyone. Like, I'm so sorry to the whole world that I exist and that I do these things and that I continuously- I'm sorry. I'm- if you don't want to subscribe, I understand. <laughs> I know a lot of the times, like in my videos, I'm always just like, ha ha ha, I'm so funny and like cool. And, well, actually, no, I'm not. You, anyway. Um, I am a very annoying person. And I know that. And I'm sorry, but like. The thing is. <clears throat> yeah. So this whole video is gonna be me saying things that I do that I know are annoying. But then giving you an excuse for why I still do them. <laughs> so I asked my friends, is there anything that I do that is annoying to you? And I have a list. I don't know why they're still my friend, like honestly. Um, so I'm going to read this list to you and try to explain and justify why I do these things. So the first thing is... This is actually something that I put on the list. None of my friends said this, but I know that it's annoying. And it's that I complain a lot. <laughs> when I'm like uncomfortable, I just repeat over and over, which we'll get into that because I repeat myself. I'll just constantly be like, ugh, I'm hot, ugh, this sucks, but I don't do anything to fix it. I never try to come up with solutions to fix the problem. I just talk about how there is a problem, but I never... I'm sorry. <laughs> I have no justification for this. I, I, just, I just complain a lot. That's it. And the next thing is another thing that I wrote down for myself and none of my friends said this, but I know it's annoying, is I don't always pay attention or I don't always listen. <laughs> when my friends or my family, like where someone talks to me, sometimes I just don't listen to them. <laughs> And it's not like a conscious thing, it's like, you know when like, you're trying to listen to someone like really really hard and then you're so focused on trying to listen to them that you just like blank out and then you realize that you weren't listening to them at all? That's what happens to me. So like I have to make my friends like, re I make my friends repeat what they said because I wasn't listening to them because I'm a terrible person and I don't care about people. Okay. <laughs> This next one, my my mom hates this, my brother hates this, everyone in my life hates this, and I'm so sorry. And that's I talk during movies and or TV shows. And I know it's annoying. Like, I know it's annoying. I know people hate it. I know people are just like, can you just shut up and let us watch the thing? But, like, I, I literally can't. I... And I do this in like movie theaters too. Like, <laughs> and I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. And I warn people like when they go to the movies with me, like I'm going to talk through this movie, just letting you know. And like, they think, oh yeah, it's gonna be like a couple comments. No. When I say I talk through the movie, I mean I talk through the entire thing. The entire movie, we can be sitting in the movie theater watching a whole hour and a half long movie and I will talk through the entire thing. <laughs> I'm never gonna get a boyfriend like this. I'm never gonna keep friends like this. I'm so sorry. Another thing is people think that I only do this like when there's other people around. No, 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 no. I talk through whatever I'm watching even if I'm alone. I talk through YouTube videos, I talk through like everything, I talk through the whole thing. <laughs> Even by myself. Like that's how bad this habit is. I do it by myself because I'm a crazy person and I talk to myself. But like it's so bad, I can't even not talk to myself. Like I... <laughs> next one is specifically annoying to Deja my best friend and it's when I know I do something that's irritating or make someone mad at me I purposely try to hug them and tell them that I love them which you think would be like nice 
but like when someone's like annoyed at you because I'm annoying and I I also annoy people on purpose but that's like another thing like entirely I think it's funny anyway <laughs> I'm so sorry to everyone around me um so I do this with Deja a lot I will do something that I know she hates like I know she hates it and I would do it to her just so I can annoy her because I'm a terrible friend and so then she will get annoyed at me and obviously when you're like irritated like and frustrated at someone you don't want to talk to them like you want them to go away right but instead of like leaving her alone after I'm like okay she's annoyed I like try to hug her and like <laughs> she hates it so much I would be like oh hey Deja I love you and she's like stop touching me get off of me get off of me I'm mad at you get off of me and I would like still hug her she hates it <laughs> and I still do it because in my brain like in my mind it's gonna make her like like not mad at me I don't know and I know it just makes her even more mad which like logically it doesn't make sense but a part of my brain just tells me that I have to do it <laughs> like this is another thing that Deja said that I do, which I don't think this is that annoying. This isn't my fault. This is not a decision that I made. Like, all the other things are things that I do because I, I can control them. This is, like, not my fault. <laughs> like, you know? And it's be and I don't pick up on hints. I'm very, very oblivious when someone is trying to tell me something. Like, if they don't straight up say it, I'm not going to understand anything they're saying. Like, <laughs> like, let's say we're in school, right? Let's say we're supposed to be on task and talking about whatever we're learning about, but instead I'm talking about the weather outside and I'm off task. If the teacher is coming up and Deja's like trying to tell me, like, the teacher's coming like with her eyes, I don't pick it up and then I get in trouble because the teacher's like, why are you off task and then I get in trouble <laughs> but it's like that all the time I've been in so many embarrassing situations because I didn't pick up on the hints of the people around me I said this earlier in the video um, when I'm talking about complaining but I repeat myself a lot and I actually have a valid valid explanation and excuse as to why I do this I have terrible memory, right? If I don't remember what I said to you and I think that I haven't said it to you, I'm going to say it. I have repeated like the same story to like all of my friends like a thousand times over because I forgot that I told them the story previously. But imagine like being my friend for like months or like years. Like imagine me repeating the same story over and over again for years <laughs> I don't know how I have friends I do not understand how I have friends why are you guys my friends I don't know <laughs> which that just reminds me there's something that's not on the list but because I have terrible memory I don't remember what they say to me so <laughs> Which plays into like another reason, like I'm a terrible person, I'm a terrible friend, I don't care about you, I don't remember what your favorite color is, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, Deja has asthma. It took me a year of us being friends for me to finally remember that she has asthma. She has told me repeatedly in like the first year and a half of our friendship she has asthma, she has asthma, she has asthma. And every single time she said it or mentioned it, I would be like, oh, you have asthma? <laughs> and she will be like, this is the 10,000th time I've told you, yes, I have asthma. And <clears throat> the next thing, which I wrote this down for myself. Actually, the next two, I wrote these down for myself. I, when I burp, I don't always say excuse me, which to me is like, that's a whatever thing like people burp Ooh. the last and final thing that gets on people's nerves is that I'm nosy and I always try to get in other people's business <laughs> if you are my friend I will be so invested in your life I won't remember 
any details about your life though but I will be interested in them <laughs> I will ask you about your siblings do you like your siblings who's your favorite sibling I'll ask you about your parents where do you live where are your parents from where are you from when was your last family vacation what's your favorite picture of yourself <laughs> like I like I will like try to like look through your phone and look through your backpack which is things that I've done I have genuinely got my friend's backpack and looked through my friend's backpack and like they never visibly seem annoyed, but I feel like it annoys them. <laughs> but like, I do that a lot. Like with my friend Guadalupe, I literally, first of all, I love her so much. Um, she always like comes to school with like makeup and stuff because like it just so happens to be in her backpack. And so I would like go into her backpack and like pretend to be a beauty guru like with her makeup products and like I wouldn't even ask her. I would just pick up her backpack and just look through it and I hope she's okay with that. I love you Guadalupe. <laughs> But like I'm I'm in everyone's business like if someone offers me to look through their phone I will 100% look through their phone like I will ask you any question in the entire world like I am so invested in every single detail of your life I won't remember it at all because I don't care about you but I want to hear it at least once and that is it that is that is the list, I'm pretty sure there's like another like list of annoying things that I do. Um, but that's, that's all for this one video. And, um, yes. So now that you literally hate me and you never want to be associated with me in any way, shape, or form, be sure to click the like button and subscribe so you can hear more about terrible things that I do to annoy the people that I love. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so annoying that I annoy myself. I repeat things to myself and it annoys me. And I wish I can leave my own brain. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, how you doing? Well, I'm doing just fine. I lied, I'm dying inside.